What's up, everybody? It's your boy Ooch. And of course, we are here with the homie Kai. And we are back again. Once again, how y'all doing today? Yes, we are back at it for the consecutive week in a row. Let's keep this going. And uh, of course, we got more topic discussion for you guys with actually directly relating to still the recent chapter because you know after that big reveal at the very end of the chapter and if you were still under a rock uh i guess this is your spoiler warning but i mean if you're keeping up with the podcast then you definitely got spoiled so i don't even, I don't even know why i'm trying to do a warning anyway bardock is now basically a part of this arc in some way shape or form we're probably gonna find out more uh, excuse me it's not bardock it's a new saiyan burdock can you read oh at, oh oh no oh no you're not doing that you're not hitting me with that kuririn oh no tian shinhan you're not hitting me with that neither nope nope chow chow shih tzu you're not hitting me with that either i'm, I'm it, it is i am uh i am uh staying true to my the names i grew up with type type ish so thank you very much <laughs> <laughs> but uh but yeah before we before we get into it i just hope you guys are ready because kai is gonna be driving this one because he 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 can he approached me today and he was like yo ain't nobody say all that but you heard it from <laughs> him first not me <laughs> yes yes because i'm i'm ready because you know, he he all he has to say is one thing, and there's the episode right there. So let's hear it, and then of course I'll add on to whatever it is. And I do we I I do think we are gonna be referencing uh, some of the few comments that we have. Yeah, that's uh, really what sparked it uh, today mm -hmm. for me. So I wanna I wanted to start with that. All right, so let's go. Let's hear it. So I'll just kind of go in order here from what I'm seeing. <clears throat> We have the we have the vital shifting comment. Somebody said, uh, actually, the vital the shifting vitals is more about shifting his chi centers. Something they probably related to acupuncture, acupressure. Fun fact: this also happened in Jujutsu Kaisen, top tier show. Don't sleep uh, in a fight where they do the same thing, where the vitals is the cursed energy. Also, I guess unbounded is probably when the when the phone is out of power, but starts up to let you know it's at zero percent and then dies again. <laughs> As shit had me rolling. <laughs> That's funny. Oh man, yeah the whole the whole vital shifting, the whole is he a surgeon or is he just shimmying? I mean, it is <laughs> it is what it is. It definitely is a little you know that 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 slight that hair of a movement that changes the impact of anything completely and i mean i still think i already mentioned this i think if they were going to give it to someone they should have given it to vegeta missed opportunity Gosh. not going to get into it it is what it is welcome to dragon ball how may i disappoint you <laughs> well, well sir i'd actually like uh, uh never mind <laughs> keep going <laughs> like uh i'd like uh you know vegeta's ass handed to him on a silver platter again once again and the kids the kids with their tails please <laughs> maybe some maybe some aging oh, that, thank you oh, that, that's where we're going the immortal children today <laughs> that, that's the only oh, thing man. that's the only thing i'm excited to find out about with this next movie did they grow up dude i really hope so for the, just this just for the sake of all things just being good in the world the the little yeah like uh, like I, I they sh I hope they they make some kind of joke about it too. Like, like there's a scene, and next thing you know, like you know they're doing whatever, and then they look over, and Goku's like, "Wow, it's almost like you grew overnight." Like I I hope they say something like that. <laughs> What'd you ask for the Dragon Balls to do it for you? That's right. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. So what else do we got? Do you have anything on that first comment, uh, the shifting vitals thing? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, I felt like I said so much about it in the last episode, pretty much like I really I, 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 I really wish it was translated a little better. OK, Um, as far as like, you know, like, like, I, I yeah, I just wish it was it was translated a little better because like how it was 
how was it it was explained and then on like when we went over the comments from the last episode it was under the uh understanding that the japanese version of that section was more or less about literally shifting yourself like it was more of more on the movement side of things rather than a surgeon side of things which is what i joked about heavily last episode so i ain't got really much else to add other than i wish it was more closer to that because right now in our translation goku can perform surgery that's all i can say <laughs> i mean that's, that's definitely one way to put it yeah So, next comment we have here is uh, if they were to bring Bardock back. That's that's mm. an emphasis mm. on if, because first of mm. all, that's a mm. whole topic. If they were to bring mm. Bardock back, I could see it going a couple ways and not being a mess. Huh. I'm going to keep it real with you. I think it's going to be a mess regardless. The fact that he's name dropped is a mess. So, uh, let's well, see. We'll, we'll get to that. The, yeah, the, <laughs> this one, this, yeah, this, this is a lot. This is a lot to process. So, the first one. They wish Bardock back, and when he comes back, he's happy to see Kakarot. Then he realizes course, and knows yeah. how wrong it is for him to be back. He puts his life on the line to save his race. He loses. He died a true warrior. Mm. You know, he tells them that they shouldn't have rezzed him back. He'd eventually sacrifice himself again in some fight with, you know, some strong antagonist. This being done after Goku filling in on his past after filling goku in on his past excuse me and seeing how strong goku is through a quick scrap quick quick scrap needs to happen no question if you bring him if they bring him back i need to see it i need to see goku versus not goku just like we always need to that would actually be really dope and i think that that kind of already happens with saiyans like oh yeah they they can't help but like just that's how they just that's how say hello that's how they know? breathe yeah like that's <laughs> like yeah. they have to fight they ha like you're not real like if it's two saiyans pull up and don't fight each other like no that's when have you ever heard of that and dude let me tell you let me just add this really quick because there's more to this comment but let me just say this if they scrap and bardock can can keep up <laughs> bruh i'm just saying it's, it's, it's lining up with what I'm feeling what might end up happening with Bardock but we'll get more into that because that's that's part of what I was t telling you about a little bit before we started when I was talking to brother Ooch yesterday I was on the shitter and I was freaking telling this I was catching this man up but we'll, we'll, we'll get into that what's, what's the rest of this comment I, here? I have a feeling that I'm a I'm afraid that I know where you might be going with that Oh, absolutely. I'm sure you already know. <laughs> you already know how it goes. All right. So I'm, I'm going stick, to stick with this comment real quick for this part one. If they bring Bardock back, this whole thing of sacrificing himself to some antagonist or whatever, because he doesn't believe in the idea of being brought back after death when he died a true warrior death. Um, I don't. I don't think that's out of line. I think that's a pretty good assumption. I mean, if, you know, if they chose to bring him back, I could see it going that way. I mean... I don't really have a problem with it going like that. I just feel like bringing Bardock back is something that shouldn't happen, but we'll have to see. So this this part two of this is, uh, or version two, I guess, would be that they bring Bardock back and the Saiyans with the Super Dragon Balls to, the, mm. to revive like the whole universe, you know, like the whole Saiyan, uh, the whole Saiyan race. Vegeta yep. creates a new planet for the Saiyans and grows apart from Goku for that reason. He said that he wouldn't be mad to retcon the Saiyans. They, uh, they've dropped hints of Saiyans changing their ways in Universe 6 and Broly in the movie. With the story heading in the direction of Angels vs. Demons, he hopes uh, we could use some more muscle. Uh, this being in the form of more Saiyan Z fighters or anything, this man or woman says that they are here for it. And I would be here for that too, because that whole Angels vs. Demons thing is a concept that was tossed around a long time ago and never really got expanded on because it was just kind of like a teaser, I guess. Mm. But um, I, I'm definitely all here for the Angels vs. Demons thing. That would be fire. That needs to be more than just an arc. That, that would definitely, I feel like that would definitely have to be the final arc, if not 
like maybe the one right before it but um <laughs> this man said final arc okay yeah right <laughs> the, way this, the, way this, the way this shit is going man this is gonna be around for a good while uh, i think at least so we're in for the long term but that's good and bad i guess is, however whatever side of the fence you're on i don't know i was i was all for it no matter what was happening at the start but now i'm just the more i read the more i see the like the more disappointed i start to get <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, f I, I feel that 100%. Um, in regards to the comment, um, so yeah, so the second, the second little scenario situation, kind of going back to what I was saying, actually, with, you know, using the Super Dragon Balls to bringing back, you know, Bardock along with the Saiyans, the concept of Vegeta essentially finally becoming like the new king vegeta nah. and like in turn separating and distancing himself from goku um but this whole part where they added like this could be you know kind of where saiyans to that caliber are kind of like i guess in a way not really written off but you know they're they're gonna always be there but you know we can now put more focus onto more of the earthling side of things but i mean i don't really think that that changes how the fact that you know goku will i'm sure still live on earth oh, and yeah. that that means his kids will be there too so there's there are and and, and his grandkids right with pan so there you go. That's four Saiyans confirmed. That's definitely not going to inhabit that new Saiyan planet. Um, I mean, you know, you would assume that Vegeta would pick up, you know, and bring Bulma and his family, you know. And I'm sure, I mean, it would be kind of, uh, I feel like it would be beneficial if Bulma did go because I'm sure she would just, she would, she would have her technological advances out the wazoo over there for the new planet vegeta if, okay. if that was to be a thing okay. you know what i'm saying I feel you. yeah so if if that was to happen because i was like kind of thinking about it like well if 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 this crazy outlandish type of concept really does happen eventually like i can see that being a thing but i don't know i i just we're, we're so used to seeing these characters on earth like especially bulma like for them to just kind of pick up and move to a whole nother planet i mean they're kind of in a, a universe where traveling between planets really isn't that big of a deal anymore so maybe she could just have like you know her big headquarters or whatever on earth See. and have like another headquarters on vegeta so you know possibilities are essentially endless when it comes to that kind of thing um but yeah i'm definitely all for paying more attention um to a lot more of the other types of fighters outside of the saiyan race um and who knows and maybe oob is the first one that we will see get that kind of limelight and shine and goku will at that point act more as a mentor sensei than the guy that handles and resolves all the problems because you know we've seen enough of that at this point and you know at that at some point you know because it's inevitable you know he will throw hands you know like you will get to see that but i'm looking forward to the days where all the other characters are getting involved and then we we see that vegeta we see that goku like really come in and play a part and you know help and not just overthrow and it's all on them you know what i'm saying like i want to be able to look forward to actually seeing them again because that's when it's hype you know okay um there was something else i wanted to say to the towards that first part of this comment um okay yeah so the whole idea of if he if he himself gets brought back right and you know the whole idea of 
he realizes like this is not something that's supposed to happen here's the thing i'm not sure if bardock is that kind of guy in the first place because man's caught on to frieza's antics before it actually happened so he at least tried to salvage his own son and save his own son's life by you know shipping him off to earth and you know raditz was already off planet anyway on a mission so he was already busy so you know both his kids he at least knew to some degree were in a more safer position than he was at that point right so with me saying all this i don't really believe that he's the kind of guy that would if he was to ever get brought back i feel like he would be a lot more i guess confused or maybe just like surprised like wow like i did not expect to be brought back i didn't think it was like a possibility or something like that because i don't really think in how dragon ball has been there is no off balance here okay like there's no like if if saiyans get brought back there is no consequence like there is there is nothing that has been put out there in the universe where that that states or that implies that if even one saiyan like bardock comes back it's gonna just offset a bunch of stuff i don't think that's gonna happen at all and i don't even think that he is you know going to play that whole you know uh character of yeah i don't i i shouldn't be here and like type stuff like you know the little that we've seen bardock we've we've seen him being like a very like tough type of dude you know like he he's like really cool but he's not he's not the kind of guy who tries to be cool like he that's just how he is and he's all about his family and he cares for his family and he cares about his his people at the same time you know and we're getting an idea from this you know this current arc that's going on right now that he is also compassionate towards others because clearly he saved them you know he them being uh granola and at least uh, monito right yeah so yeah that's my that's my whole thing about that i mean like i'm sure he'll throw hands the 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 idea of him like being a part of whatever scuffle and then he he sacks himself so that way it's like okay we did get to see him but then like he just ends up dying anyway i'm like yeah i don't know i feel like if they're gonna bring him back they should at least do it with some sort of purpose and you know make it worthwhile and if he does end up dying again i mean it's just like damn like that sucks <laughs> like <laughs> like 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 why like why go out of your way to write such a godlike story like so that way it's like you know so where it's more of a believable super dragon ball hero situation where because you know anything goes in that shit. here we have a chance of you know this is this, some shit like this is rare you know what i'm saying like character like bardock is pretty od because i kind of i in a way i'm not gonna even i don't want to i don't want to make it seem like I'm, I'm i'm trying to cut it close to what i'm trying to compare it to but this is literally almost okay again almost on the same level as when of the whole like imagination of future trunks ever coming back into the storyline and it happened and it happened so great that we even got an evil goku situation going on as well within that same arc and vegeto came back so it was pretty fire you know i think that you know having to do like bardock finally get some shine now would be pretty nice i think if if that ends up if that does end up happening obviously i'm just not i'm just not feeling it that's fine too i'm really not i've i've lost i mean you know i've been i've been a dragon ball head since i accidentally stumbled upon the show on toonami as a child but like right. dude i am losing faith in this bitch because 
this has just been some piss poor repetitive shit and yes it has its moments even in the new stuff there's so many things i love about dragon ball super and some of them i like more than the certain things that happen in z not every moment but some moments but lately yeah. the the more they write the worse it gets and that's honestly how i feel i don't blame you like i, I really don't blame you like it's funny because i was <laughs> i was saying literally the last episode that i'm one percent on the side of oh yeah bring bardock in there right yeah exactly and one percent with 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 all of what i just said it sounds like i'm like 99 on the bring bardock back <laughs> now but but yeah no i i hear you i feel you it is what it is with with dragon ball and and that's the thing right it's like both of us especially are so used to how it's how it's been mm. And we see how the story gets written. Clearly, we keep in touch with it because it is something we both love very much. We have a we have a direct, like, I don't know, like, a, I don't want to say relationship, but like we we have like we ha we have like a, a connection with the show, like you know, since we were kids. And naturally, things like that, you know, we're always gonna. We're always gonna feel for it and we, we're always gonna want better and more for it at the same time and you know naturally like i'm sure there are some that are listening right now that might be able to relate to us um and that's also why when i see these these moments that you said right like when, when dragon ball does have its moments right mm -hmm. this is this is one of those moments right and i might be i might be like you know thinking too much into it but it's only because like bro like something like this would be pretty sick that's the that's time. the whole reason we come up here on this podcast and talk about it is because you and i <laughs> yeah. are both people that do like to think into it too much and right. whether it's for the yeah. good or for the bad it doesn't really matter it's just because you know we do share a connection with dragon ball and it's something that we really enjoy regardless of how bad it's getting we still enjoy it you know like deep down we're just trying to see it through and you know th this has been a, right. this has been a long ass story you know like technically speaking this shit started before i was born so this has Facts. been around for a hot minute and i'm trying to stick around Same. to see how it ends no matter what happens because dragon ball is always going to be some real shit end of the day yeah it inspired a lot that came after exactly so it was it's like an icon for just existing so but yeah like <sighs> i mean yeah it's it's one of those things where you know you have something that's so popular that's been around for so long and it depends on like you know it, it, it really depends on how you execute it because there's a lot of things out there that i'm sure have been around for pretty much around the same amount of time maybe longer maybe a little shorter but you don't really hear about them having the same kind of concerns or issues or something like that you know like for example and i don't really i can't really speak too much on it but one piece right one piece has been going on for over like a thousand episodes like a thousand like chapters or, what, or whatever it is right and oda the the the, the, the creator he's been going strong for this since like the late 90s and it's 2021 now and even being this late in the game for one piece that shit apparently still has some yeah. gas in the tank and it's not like with dragon ball like see dragon ball's been around for as long as it's been because you know it started in the late 80s and then it went through into like pretty much the mid 90s in japan and then it stopped right it just stopped like outside of any uh movies and like your tv specials it was done yep. the only the only the only way the dragon ball was around was through other other means like video games and you know pretty much that right and then just the, the raw love for the the franchise for the manga and for the anime so you know flash forward time yeah they bring it back through dragon ball kai and then dragon ball z kai um 
and again like you know the re-releases the constant re-releases of the 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 you know all the episodes and whatnot and then at at some point you know it just finally came back in the form of super eventually but think about all that time in between where it literally like there was nothing new like one piece that shit's been going on like a machine right there's other shows and other series like baki the grappler where i myself have a lot to read on baki but i love baki that's a raw fucking fighting anime like if you want a series that is just pure adulterated fighting like there's no like every shit every anime manga they, they got their bullshit you know but this is the kind of bullshit that like every fight every every story you're reading about these characters their upbringings and how they're able to do their their fighting techniques it's ridiculous and it gets you every time so if you haven't watched baki or if you haven't read baki i definitely recommend it because it unlike dragon ball you know this has levels of bullshit that is so out of this it's so bizarre that it's acceptable like they got dudes fighting each other and some like 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 for example like uh, for one 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 fight i can pick off the top of my head they're doing like this tournament of course right and this dude was was literally like breaking this dude's limbs but the guy that was getting his limbs all busted up he ends up winning the fight because he used his broken limbs as weapons and i'm just like what <laughs> <laughs> like this dude walking off the stage with his arms like prac like they're not even attached and everyone the crowds are cheering like and like gross at the same time like how did this guy win like his elbow is like on the floor <laughs> like it was od so like but yeah, Baki, I bring up Baki because I know that that's also been around for a long time. And I know it's been around for a long time because they're celebrating the 30th anniversary of Baki like this month. So shout out to Baki, right? But yeah, I mean, I bring, I, I obviously bring all these examples up because there are good examples of how you can keep something around for so long and still make it godly but then you have dragon ball where like kai said it seems like the more they write the worse it gets and i don't i feel like i like i feel like i speak for the both of us when i say i don't want it to get to that point where we start to like really resent the shit, right and like you know we 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 just we 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 lose our passion for it and we lose our like our care for it like i i i really hope that it never gets to that point like cuz that's that's that would really suck and that's not fun at all like we're trying to find the best out of these fucking things man and we're taking any moment that really is a plot twist or something we don't expect that's completely left field like we're trying to really like okay like here we go we got something to work with now you know outside of the cookie cutter shit so ah <sighs> damn that was a lot for <laughs> just that <laughs> just that comment really because we, well, we got like one more right i mean i'm still i still gotta get on my part two for that uh oh please yeah sorry yeah my no you good you good it's just um so yeah going back to uh the whole idea of them bringing Bardock and the Saiyans back, right? That, yeah. I don't, I like it, but I don't want it. And I don't want it because if we get it, I'll, I'd put money on it that they're not going to do it right. Mm. And that's not what I'm trying to see. So okay. we have the thing, we have the part one where, you know, like potentially you know bardock could sacrifice himself after getting rezzed all that yada yada and then this where the saiyans come back too and you know vegeta goes over there to be king well now we have a bunch of problems to discuss now we have the whole thing of like uchi already mentioned we have 
a bunch of Saiyans that are not going over there. So what, are we going to have a completely split story? Do you think they're going to give us that much content? Doubt it. Especially when this whole movie is going on Earth and being a casual movie. I don't see that. Yeah. I don't see it taking that direction. But we have another problem. Vegeta going over there to be, you know, like the king of the new Saiyan planet. Why does he only call himself the prince? He can never call himself the king. If you bring all the Saiyans back, you bring the king back. His dad would have to relinquish it to his son. Yo, but see, that would be that? A, such a glorious moment for character development, for everything Vegeta could ever need and want. He can finally be king of all Saiyans. Facts. But they're not going to do that. Oh, God. My heart. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. This is. Oh. <laughs> Uh, he could have had the biggest moment of his where he could stop calling himself the prince. Do you know how uh, you know how huge that would be? Man, I literally am I'm I'm fucking visualizing it right now. Like like everyone gets brought back and Vegeta's there to welcome them and they have no idea what happened. They're like and and Vegeta's like, "Father, like I'm gonna catch you up on all this shit." Right. Frieza's the one that destroyed us. All this imagine, time has gone by. Imagine the look on King Vegeta's face when he sees Vegeta's god form. Yo, at that point, at that point, he would bow would before be, his son. He would, yo, and that I would probably cry. Right. I would just be like, right. I, I would literally be like, this is probably one of the greatest moments in anime history. Exactly. That's what, uh. Yeah. Like, because if, if you think okay because think like the best case scenario right if if they were to be brought back and vegeta does catch them up and he explains everything that's happened since they all got destroyed right and he you know he he basically explains like yeah like him alongside kakarot have fought off all these villains threats all these different types of you know adversaries or whatever and here they are still standing before you and you guys are all back now and boom like he he looks at his son he recognizes like all the shit that they've gone through and then and then and then right then and there in front of like their entire people he announces vegeta as the new king like his son as the new king like <sighs> i can you like, imagine no i can't imagine i i can't imagine it actually happening yeah it's too it's, good. It be too good. It's It'd too, be too good, good to be true. Oh my god. So yeah, I see it's... I see so many problems. And you know what? Some people could say, you know, like bringing a whole Saiyan race could definitely change the things uh in, in terms of like power scales and you know, universe stuff, right? So right, if anything right. like if a if a tournament of power were to ever happen again, which you know it won't, but I'm just saying, right? That uh you know, it might be some different people next time around because there's, you know, new new battles, you know, new opponents, new Saiyans, new monkey see monkey do out here. We got new right. Super Saiyans, but I'm going to say something that I, that um, I definitely think I personally think is true. But um, as far as anime is concerned, it's 100 percent true. <clears throat> um, the younger generation is always stronger than whatever was before them. Yep. that's just anime that's, that's just anime facts like that's how it should be yeah so i mean when you think about it the saiyans that you are trying to bring back are all old goku and vegeta were babies mm. none of them are gonna catch up to that level i'm sorry but it's not happening <sighs> They can go hard. They can get strong. They can go Super Saiyan 3, 4. They, yo, yo, that would be a great place to put Super Saiyan 4 with the original Saiyans. Dude, that's literally what I'm... Oh they God. all have their tails. That would be the place to introduce Super Saiyan 4. We could have King Vegeta of the Super Saiyan 4 planet. Mm-hmm. They, like, because now with the newfound knowledge that vegeta will bring to them and then like yo and then broly can go in there and help them figure out how to use it oh wait hold on now see i was thinking about this for a second here while you were while you were talking and i don't think i'd want broly on that planet because he would accidentally kill the entire people again and we're back to square one you're not so. wrong he could stay on Vampa. You're not Thank wrong. You. <laughs> he would. He would like, annihilate every single one of them. 
by accident. By I mean, accident. Look, think about it. Vegeta, the original Vegeta, is the what is the reason why he's not there in the first place. He was like, yeah, nah, this dude's OD. Like, he, he can't be here. Like, straight up. You know, unless, unless we get to a point where Goku actually does teach him how to control his shit, but, then yeah. But I was going to say, here's the thing, though. Goku is, you know, going to teach him to control his shit at some point. And Broly's such a skilled character that he will someday get it out of control and then i'm sure there'll be one cameo episode where he just loses it and bodies everybody there and that'll be absolutely fantastic right but i think for the most part 99 percent at least he'll have that shit under control no questions i actually believe that he'll get that shit down especially because they already did it with kale's character there's no reason broly wouldn't have it now so yeah i if i i was just gonna yeah. say if if they do that and if they go that route you're right king vegeta was the reason that um that uh broly's not there but prince vegeta could be the reason that he's allowed to be there mm -hmm. they could go through some shit in the meantime that's like nah broly's proven his place he's proven his worth and he has his stuff under control he's just as strong as the rest of us and look at us we're gods oh, like we can handle oh. this i got i got you right here ready all Vegeta has to tell Pops is he bodied Frieza by himself in a matter of seconds. Oh, you're right. <laughs> like, that's all he has to say, right? Like, that's literally all he has to say because Mans, Mans came out the ship and destroyed Frieza. Like, I don't, like, literally, you have to realize, okay, out of all the fights that we've ever seen Frieza have, no one has washed up Frieza as bad as Broly. Broly had like what was it like I forgot the exact time what was it like an hour or like 90 minutes of Frieza getting washed off screen something like that oh my god yeah while they was practicing yeah, the fusion exactly. dance right this man was getting pummeled for fun not even he was he was just unfortunate to be in the sights of Broly when he lost his shit and he was but you know what you know what always makes me like question everything is the fact that they kept drawing him in his golden form throughout the entire beatdown and even afterwards through just talking. So that means that Frieza never lost enough energy to like de-golden himself. <laughs> so he couldn't do anything. I'm not saying he's stronger than Broly, but I'm just wondering like how much how much control, how much reserves he has to sh not show something off that he hasn't even powered down from a beatdown like that right right yeah that would you know oh man i just thought of something and i don't this could be really dangerous well not dangerous but just another uh, just another bardock situation kind of thing well let me let me get my thoughts in order here all right we still got one more comment to go over but this whole this whole discussion and possibility is really like you know it's it's out there it it's, is it's, you know the whole episode today is yeah yeah but like i think it i think it kind of goes with what you were saying already before with um with how like if they do bring the race back they could all put, like and vegeta obviously trains them to 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 kind of because you know because you said and it's very true that they're all old and they're all like ill experienced in comparison like there has been so much shit has that has happened since they've all been eradicated that vegeta would pretty much have to essentially like put them all in a time chamber like that dude all those they all... plus they're not as evolved right Picture the they're universe not as six saiyans throwing themselves into that because we're already supposed to be seeing kaba's king vegeta right and and at the same time like this could also be where since they have their natural powers of you know their their ozaru they could literally this could be the, all of the like this could be the same bunch of people that use that as their true innate power source and they all turn into fucking super saiyan fours but this would have it would have a whole new name it would be like 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 
primal saiyan or something like that or i don't know like ultra saiyans or something like that you know stop, like, yeah, that, stop. Like, i'm just dude ultra saiyan. i'm just I'm saying. so tired of this i'm just saying because they can't they're not gonna call super saiyan 4 no more oh they're i know i know to, yeah like that that shit is gonna be retconned it's gonna be a thing of the past is gonna be a GT exclusive along with the he got it. fire banger. Okay. It's gonna be along with that. And I'm ready for it because like everything slowly has been a tease for whatever their grand building up towards. And if they bring in these Saiyans back, holy shit. They're gonna do some but, plot twist shit where they bring Bardock back. Bardock learns to go God, and then he he, he was actually Yamoshi the whole time. Stop. <laughs> but hold on. So the the funny thing is, right? I was think so. This and this might relate to what you just said because this is the other thing that I was thinking of, and then oh we'll my move God. on. This is the other thing I was thinking of, and then we'll move on. Okay. I'm thinking what if right so like yes they know we know that bardock saves them we don't know how yet but what if by that time that he like let, let's say that uh let's say that after he saves them he goes off right and this kind of ties into the scene where he's flying back to to planet vegeta in that that dragon ball super broly film right like that that opener and imagine if that and like actually i'm not gonna lie i i i, I was watching geekdom's video where it was him and opai senpai talking about like the whole possible like what they thought could happen next with this whole bardock situation and they were thinking like yo what if like right after he saves them like it, it that's the part where that we see in uh the dragon ball super broly movie because we don't we don't know where he was coming from right so that would be kind of sick if that that ties into that but my thing that i'm bringing to the table here is that frieza destroys them all just fine you know the scouter reads there's not a single like survivor but that's when Bardock wakes up and man's is this this literally is how it picks up with that whole special Bardock episode where he's somehow sent back in time. Right. And you know, Saiyans age differently, right? What if this dude net was 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 around this entire time and hiding? And we see old man Bardock with the fucking gray hair, beard, <laughs> and he and 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 he, oh and he and he knows that Super Saiyan shit, but he also knows that Super Saiyan Four shit, that Ultra, that Primal Instinct, that Ultra Saiyan, that. Uh, uh, <laughs> ah. I'm telling you, that would be crazy. It's not gonna happen though. Yeah. Of course, it's not gonna happen, but one can only imagine and and hey that right there is how i mean look if toriyama wrote a script to essentially take the things from dragon ball minus and retcon it into his story he could do the same shit for the story the, the episode of bardock <laughs> because why not you know show chilled go ahead show them right show ice cubes too you know show them I want to see some ice, some cube, some uh, distilled. Where's distilled at? Where's for? Where's froze? Where's that's the cousin? I mean, we got chilled. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like we got chilled, Frieza, King Frost, Cooler. Shit, we got plenty more. There's no ice yet. There's no. There's no cubed. Shit. Where's Cone at? Oh my like God. we 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 we, <laughs> we, we can go cream? on forever. We, we, <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, but um, but yeah. Ice cream. Shit's OD. So last comment. 
Uh, yeah. You you got this one? Okay. So, this is... Uh, this comment says, Thank you for bringing up my comment to an extent. I do agree with your friend Kai that it seems Vegeta as a character is at a standstill from the apparent uh because he can't let go of this guilt which i think vegeta will inevitably let go of soon however for a character to develop first a person always has to find the defect within them or i'm sorry within him that is stopping him from becoming a better character and in this arc it's the first time really vegeta's guilt for the saiyans has been brought up so now vegeta's character has made some progress by identifying his weakness now the second step to make the progression complete is rectifying that defect for example if one has a unknown illness and never diagnoses it then he will never cure the illness so overall both steps are just as important for one to progress as a character so vegeta has made progress now he just needs to complete it I agree with it. I mean, again, he's right. But at the same time, I don't think the only thing I don't agree with is that I don't think that he's fully identified the weakness yet because I feel right. like Goku even asked him, you know, like, what's your problem? And he was like, I don't know. Just call it Saiyan pride. Like he's right. he's he's almost there. He's like he's touching it. Yeah, I I uh, I think I, I feel like maybe through Monaito's backstory, I feel like he's going to somehow through that story, it, it'll it'll click for Vegeta, maybe. Because yeah, it is inevitable, you know, if we're gonna believe like, yeah, like that's that's what it's kind of alluding to, right? Um, yeah, I, I, I think the same thing. I feel like, yeah, he definitely will make that connection how he'll make that connection is what is kind of still up in the air yeah but yeah I'm, I'm, I'm gonna agree with you for sure but yeah that was uh that definitely made me think that that other comment that he had written you know about vegeta making progress and stuff like that that uh that definitely made me rethink the approach entirely because i was pretty pissed at what they're doing with his character lately mm -hmm. and they're really, like they're really like they're really blue balling us with vegeta lately like the past few arcs all the stuff all all the focus they've given him random abilities forms all this other stuff making it look like he's finally gonna get some shine and then they just they banana peel his ass so like it's like uh yeah they blue balling is definitely the <laughs> proper term <laughs> i'll say that because <laughs> wow like it, that it is what it, that, it, that's it right <laughs> there like <laughs> there's no other better way to explain it like they have straight up like they, they it's like they, they it, it, we are we are the hamster running after the fucking cheese on the wheel. <laughs> we are the fan. The fans are the hamster. The cheese is Vegeta actually getting to where we think he's going. Somewhere. <laughs> and Toriyama's just watching the cage from the outside. See, like, uh -huh. see, that's the other thing I wanted to touch on, which is something that we have mentioned before, but it's like... Y'all really gotta remember, and I mean, I gotta remember too, so it's not just, it's not just everyone listening or watching or whatever, like, I need to remember this too. This man did not want to keep making Dragon Ball. It just got too popular. He low-key had no choice. Facts. This is why this is happening, because he's like, I don't want to come up with new shit. Y'all want Dragon Ball. This is what worked for me. I right, bet this is what I'm going with. Here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so I feel like he's going to keep he's going to keep spitting out Dragon Ball stuff until it's bad enough where we're like, all right, thanks. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and then he can finally be left alone at peace. And then we're just going to be salty because we got it. But, you know, people are always going to be disappointed in something. But this is this is a little absurd. 
in my opinion. This is definitely getting close to that point where I'm about to hit him with the K thanks bye. Right. I mean, yeah, dude. Like, I feel like I've said that in the past. Like, like I've brought that fact up that like he had, he had how his story was supposed to go in mind. Yeah. And and it was you know and then he just continued it due to you know them wanting him to do more them as not just the fans but like you know the higher ups. I I feel like this is <laughs> this is revenge of Toriyama. This is like, oh, this is the way I wanted to write the show. Oh, y'all didn't want that? Y'all want this? All right, here you go. You got this. No, 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 no. Don't ask for something new here. This is what you wanted? You got it. You got it. You got it. <laughs> He's just going to keep giving yeah. it to us. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's like, it's in a weird place because there's moments where we really are just like, yo, like this dude is a genius. He's a god. Like Toriyama is still out here, even in however old age that he is. Like, what is he in his like sixties or some shit like that? I I like, don't, I don't know. know. Yeah, like I mean, he still he still got it, but we also have to, we also can't forget though. It's not all him now. I, I know. It's there's a lot of hands that 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 touch Dragon Ball now. Like, but, it's not all just in, in, his, in his vision anymore. It's really not, but that's the other thing is that nobody's gonna take the step or the risk to go past what has already been working flawlessly for the entire franchise. And the, the man himself does not feel like coming up with anything else. So he's just gonna sign on it. Well, yeah, I mean, yes and no, I feel like, cause He's gonna like, I'm like, I will say this. I'm glad that he's still involved to a degree, right? Because he, he had to be, I think he has to be because yeah. that's the thing with him not being there to at least make corrections or to even supervise or to even provide a script or a blueprint, a design. It's not like 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 it has to be that way because like you're absolutely right toyo toyo taro right people love to shit on him when he does questionable things right but they then both do well yeah naturally but like he's like toyo taro is clearly it, when you compare the two of them he is the inexperienced one and that that's like that's like, you know, I don't even want to say it like that because it makes him sound like he's a novice, but he's been around for a while and he started off like anyone else who is a huge fucking Toriyama fan and a fan of Dragon Ball that can literally pretty much replicate his art style, you know, like the average fan, right? And I say the average to so passive fan that don't follow it like we do who where they don't pay attention to who's involved like they don't know like dudes names that are that go into these projects <laughs> you know how many people like, that is don't know people <laughs> don't know names I'm, I'm sure it's a <laughs> lot right but dude like these these in like those people they don't they would probably never be able to tell the difference between the the manga from Toriyama through from Dragon Ball to Z and then Toyotaro's with Super right now. Yeah, definitely like he not. does he's he he's he he does a good job for what he's do, like what he's there for. You know, it's just the you know fans that are going to not see or, or I'm sorry, they they're not getting whatever they are they think should happen or what they want to happen or whatever oh, and then there's those moments where it's just like dude what are you doing <laughs> yeah like, like they just they just both have those moments and for me it's just i'm just mad that he's really you know he's it's like you said he's supervising it like toriyama's supervising this and i'm like man y'all really out here supervising vegeta's ultra disrespect mode y'all out here supervising the only real loss we've ever had in dragon ball with an angel dying and then bringing him back two minutes later for a party like, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, Y'all supervising dude. this? Bet. Yep, they're supervising exactly that. See, what they need to do is, 
if if they're gonna ever attempt to really do Dragon Ball right, and by doing it right, they really go, they really fully commit to all of the lore angles by having more side stories and whatnot to look forward to. Like it's essentially it like Dragon Ball becomes its own Marvel, right? It becomes its own Marvel I would love that, cinematic though. universe. We'd get so much stuff and we'd get to have these theories come out like with what's happening right. with Broly and the Saiyans coming back, not just Bardock and all this other stuff. And it would get done right if it was like that, but it's not. Well yeah, I mean they would need the right people to also be a part of those projects like they need they would they would have to get my man young Gigi in there because <laughs> young young Gigi is like he is a base he is essentially a Toyotaro New on gen. the side waiting like literally New waiting to just get the call up like but he but he been around for a while though young Gigi I don't know how long but you know they've been around for a while and he like in my the way I see it is he's just there waiting to be called on. I'm just like the second they decide to attempt to make more stories like proactively because look at look at here. I hate I like I I hate I hate <laughs> realizing this shit and I'm just it just makes me more upset because it's like dude how come it's not happening for Dragon Ball right now? Exactly. Okay, like it's big enough. <laughs> There's no reason. I don't know what I'm saying. Like, My Hero Academia, okay? <laughs> My Hero Academia started, it blew up. So guess what? Shortly thereafter, immediately, Vigilante started. It, it, it is a story that takes place in the fucking universe of MHA at a different point in time. But re directly relates to it, obviously. And then they have like the the team up side mission manga which is literally like them the heroes we see in the anime and manga going on missions that they don't get to show us in said anime and manga all connecting why is that because of how fucking popular the show is so what are what are they doing you, I don't I don't I don't want to use the phrase they're milking it no they're being completely optimal and taking advantage of how popular it is and providing more shit for people to buy into to absorb to be all about to have more things to look to to use as leverage or reasoning to even reference you know because Think They're about all it. about like, the consumer life. And they did the same thing to Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan, manga started. Guess what? It blew up. Guess what? Attack on Titan, uh, Rise of the... Uh, oh, what the fuck was it called? It was like... They had the... They had... Okay, I don't, I don't remember... Oh, no. Before the fall. It was literally... A manga just for Levi. Like, hello? It was just for Levi. A whole shit where it was his whole upbringing. How he came to be before the fall, right? They also had um, a... Uh, I forget what the, what the subtitle of it was called. But it was a manga about a titan that essentially they quote unquote gave birth when it died huh. and out out of this out of this uh corpse was like a human and so these people saw this this baby as a threat because they thought oh my god it's the son of a titan right but realistically what happened was it was a titan that ate a mother but when they but they killed the titan quick enough before the mother fully like i guess died or whatever and they were able to like get her out of that titan but she was pregnant and so the baby was born alive and kicking and so because of that people of course they were just like oh my god like that's a demon child that's the son of a titan yeah that's the the, the, the child of a titan 
it was a whole manga going on on the side with the main line bro even the junior shit even the stuff that really don't matter they even had one for annie they had a month dude they modern shit that blows up they get side stuff that whether it's fully canon or i'm sure no I, you know i don't think they waste their time i feel like they do make it play into the the main story anyway I'll, unless it's like the 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 sd versions where it's like they're all chibi and shit and it's just like bullshit stories it's just for fun at that point but even then it's like look look at that it's so it's doing so well that they have the resources to just make some bullshit literal bullshit but it's intended bullshit so it's okay you know what i'm saying <laughs> Yeah. Like where, where is any of that right now for Dragon Ball? Like, I feel like we've talked about this before the because time, I brought the only time Dragon Ball gets extra content like that is in the form of non-canon material. Exactly. And that's why they need to bring these dudes in young Gigi. This like all they have to do, call him up. Toriyama just say, oh, I saw what you did. It's pretty good. <laughs> and then guess what? They don't got to do shit. They just have to oh, fucking it, just print like it. They just have to print it and put his name on it because that's how they do it. They go buy Kira Toriyama. Yep. Right? Done. We have we officially have side stories that made sense. Like Young Gigi literally imagine what, he, Dragon Ball making sense. Uh, oh my god, imagine, right? Sheesh. Fucking sheesh whatever Fucking yikes that's what i'm saying like it, it's i don't know what they're doing like when you think when you think of it in the grand scheme of things it's just like what are they doing like they only are doing the manga and they're only doing that movie and i'm sure they're doing the anime which is like a forbidden thing to even bring up because they act like that's not happening either but you got dudes like geek them out here straight up knowing and telling people in his videos like <laughs> it's happening like it's happening <laughs> but they just they're not putting it out they, they we don't have any clue as to literally what the fuck is actually going on like i don't understand how a show like jujutsu kaisen i'm not trying to knock it because i know y'all like it right i'm not trying to knock it at all but look i know of jujutsu kaisen zero Y'all got a fucking side. Yo, come on, bro. Jujutsu Kaisen, how, how long has that shit been around for? And that has a side manga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dude, this, on that this topic, I, this what I mean. on that topic, I I cannot confirm, but I did hear, um, I don't know how credible the sources are, but I did hear something of like Gojo getting a whole fucking arc on his past. And I was oh like, my God. I was like, are you serious? I was like, we really out here giving characters that much love and like detail and lore. I was like, I'm here for it. But where is it in all these other shows? <laughs> this shit brand bro, new. Bro, even one of my fucking all time favorites, Naruto, literally he had they had this the main story go on for like 72 volumes. Right. But then along the way. They started to do a lot of that side shit with the novels. Like, it wasn't a side manga, but they at least had novels. They had another place for people to go to that they could read about characters that, uh, that, you, well, yeah, they, they, they definitely got shine and time, but you got to hear or read a story that they didn't tell in the in the anime or manga Dude, you know I, what I'm saying? that's the shit that i live for those untold stories where like you know about it they name dropped it and you know nothing right like bro like dragon ball has only ever done this shit once with the reincarnation of yamcha and that was a gag it wasn't even <laughs> like something of sustenance it was just a funny thing to enjoy oh yeah Wow, imagine if they fucking made more stuff like this, except it actually played a part in the fucking story. Like, Too come good on, to be true. bro. This is why. Like, look, 
if they're gonna have Toriyama oversee everything, whatever. But they gotta do shit like this because they can't. They're sitting on. They're not just sitting on a gold mine. They're sitting on like infinite and endless Broly like lengths of revenue. Period. Like this. This shit could. Like, dude. I'm almost on the... I'm literally so close to just getting into comics again. Like, with Marvel. Okay? Because I'm keeping... I've been keeping up with all the movies. Okay? But ever since Endgame and ever since Far From Home with Spider-Man, I have been keeping a closer... Like, paying closer attention to the, to the, the, the MCU-related works because it all plays a fucking part in the grander story every disney plus show that they've put out so far has had a point black widow even has had a point i just saw shang chi the other day fire by Word. the way all you right all right you, all right you get where i'm going with this yeah. shit? okay i want to read the comics now because of how amazing this they how 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 crazy they can get with their own movie verse their whole cinematic universe right now dude when done right and when you give all these different angles and perspectives and you bring that shit to light in the best way possible you may it's like you just you breathe new life into this shit but no we're getting goku and vegeta on repeat bro like they, that's why that's why bringing it all back to what this fucking podcast episode is about right i really hope they they give us some good shit with this bardock situation man yeah me too i i just don't i i don't i don't have my hopes up for anything because the the last few arcs have really been uh disappointment after disappointment with a few oh my god that was fire and that's really all it's been yeah so yeah I'm I'm ready for whatever's gonna come next, but the fact that they already named Jock Bardock that, that that's like a whole a whole new mindset of all right how are about, how are they about to fuck this up? Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. All right. We'll definitely see. So, is there anything else that you want to touch on? No, I got it all out. We got it all out. Okay pretty sure i hit up i hit on all the points that i wanted to to bring up but i will i will uh close close this out by also bringing up the the conversation i had with brother Uch last night catching him up to speed all i want to say is that man i gave this dude the spark notes of this arc and he literally he literally figured that it was going to be bardock like when i told him like this Namekian that stopped the fight came through and said that there was one Saiyan that actually saved them. I'm like, who do you think it is, Brandon? He goes, don't tell me it's Bardock. I'm like, oh my God, you're, you're crazy. Like, I, he don't read it. He just, he has a sixth sense for Dragon Ball too. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like some people just have it. <laughs> yeah. So, but even when he, but even when he predicted it, he was, he was still excited. He was like, he was like, oh, like he reacted and he's just like, shit. He's like, what they, he's like, they, he, but the one thing I will say this, and this is, this is the, this is the best way to close it out. Right. This is a brother. Ooch, a, a direct quote from brother. Ooch. This man says, they better not fuck this up. <laughs> <laughs> oh shout out to my brother man yeah we should we should get him on as a guest <laughs> oh. oh man dude we should have had him on this one because all three of us feel the exact same way about this right now that's true i'll see i, I gotta ask him i'll be like yo you gotta come on with us and uh talk about all this shit because <laughs> him just being there was always fun to the like just see his facial expressions and then like like we say something and then he'll just be like oh like he'll add like the emphasis like oof 
<laughs> or when he would say something, it'll just really just take us back even more so, or just open up a whole can of worms, similar to how you do with me now. Yeah. You know, just another layer of overall shit to go around for Dragon Ball. You know what it is. Yeah. But on that note, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, Dragon Ball heroes, whatever, <laughs> right? Hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode of the Full Power Podcast. If there are any other comments, concerns, questions, or topic ideas that you would like us to dissect and give and have us give you guys our full uh, thoughts then please go ahead and fill up those comment sections uh, on the YouTube version, of course, and feel free to reach out to us via email at fullpowerpod at gmail.com. That is fullpowerpod at gmail.com. With all of your comments, concerns, questions, and topic ideas, please make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves. This is the, your boy Ooch, the homie Kai, and we'll see you guys next time.